five decades of engineering expertise, fortified presence globally. 29 branch offices across India with 4,000 dealer outlets, over 1,000 product variants, producing over 1 million pumps and motors per annum, with 1,50,000 square meters of covered area, with state-of-the-art machinery and a well-trained, dedicated workforce. CRI's in-house R&D is recognized by the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. A futuristic R&D wing received first prize from the Government of India for manufacturing the BEE star labeled appliances in the agricultural pump set sector under the National Energy Conservation NEC award. Products with international quality certifications certified with the Energy Star rating. The winner of many prestigious awards for quality and excellence. A brand to reckon with in fluid management solutions. Commitment, reliability, innovation. This is CRI Pumps. Pumping trust worldwide. The procedure of CRI 8-inch motor assembly starts with a wound stator. The wound stator is placed on a mounting slab in horizontal position. A gasket is placed through the cable onto the wound stator. Now, with the help of the clamping tool, four T-bolts are clamped on the wound stator body in the given slot provision. Rubber bush is pressed into the slot provided in the upper housing. Two LTB bushes are pressed into the slot provided in the upper housing. The cable is inserted into the cable slot provided in the upper housing. The upper housing is now placed on the flange seating of the wound stator and is hammered with help of nylon hammer to make it seat properly. The grommet is pushed through the cable to the cable slot of the upper housing such that it fits appropriately and is airtight. Now the grommet washer is pushed through the cable onto the grommet. Then the gasket is placed on top of the upper housing through the cable. Now the oil seal housing is taken and two oil seals are placed inside the bore. After this, SS sand guard, SS bakelite is placed onto the oil seal and a rubber sand guard is placed over the SS sand guard. Now the studs are tightened to the oil seal housing. Now the oil seal housing is fitted to the upper housing through the cable and tightened with the help of o-ring, bend washer and nut. Two water filling plugs with nylon washer are tightened with help of screwdriver on the sides of the oil seal housing. Rotor is inserted into the wound stator body through the lower housing side. Gaskets are placed onto the lower housing side of the wound stator. Now, with the help of the clamping tool, four T-bolts are clamped onto the wound stator body in the given slot provision. Rubber bush is pressed into slot provided in the lower housing. Two LTB bushes are pressed into slot provided in the lower housing. The winding supporting ring is placed into the lower housing. The counter thrust ring is placed onto the lower housing and tightened with screws. Lower housing is fitted to the wound stator body with the help of nylon hammer. The gasket is placed on the top face of the lower housing. The key and thrust pad are fitted onto the rotor. Circ clip is inserted to hold the thrust pad in its place. The drain plug is tightened with o-ring with the help of screwdriver onto the motor base. Now the rocker screw is tightened on the motor base with the rocker lock nut. The segment base is placed onto the rocker screw in the motor base. Now the segments are fitted onto the segment base. Then the motor base is fitted to the lower housing seating. The motor base is tightened with the help of o-ring bend washer and dome nut. 
the rotor position is adjusted with the help of rocker screw. The rocker cap is placed on the rocker nut. The rubber diaphragm is placed onto the motor base seating. The diaphragm plate is fitted onto the motor base with the help of screws. Now the motor assembly is complete. Wearing is pressed onto the suction housing with the help of adhesive. The suction housing is now placed onto the fixture and kept aside. The spacer is pushed through the shaft and tightened with the screws. Spacers with pump shaft are mounted onto the fixture, helping the shaft to stay in its position. Two numbers of spacers are inserted through the shaft onto the suction housing. Stage key is fixed to the pump shaft. The impeller is pushed through the pump shaft onto the stage key. Up thrust washer is inserted through the shaft. First stage sleeve is inserted through the pump shaft onto the up thrust washer. Gasket is placed onto the suction housing through the shaft. This is now kept aside. The counter thrust CT pad bush is pressed with the help of hydraulic press onto the stage casing. Wear ring is pressed into the stage casing. Now the studs are fixed to the stage casing and tightened. The stage casing with counter thrust CT pad bush is fitted to the suction housing through the shaft and hammered with the help of nylon hammer and tightened with the nuts. Stage key is fixed to the pump shaft. The impeller is pushed through the shaft onto the first stage casing. Stage sleeve is pushed through the pump shaft onto the impeller. Gasket is placed onto the first stage casing and kept aside. Rubber bush is pressed with the help of hydraulic press onto the stage casing. Wearing ring is pressed onto the stage casing. Studs are fitted onto the stage casing and tightened. Now, the stage casing with rubber bush is pushed through the shaft onto the first stage casing and tightened with nuts. Stage key is fixed to the pump shaft. The impeller is pushed through the shaft onto the second stage casing. Stage sleeve is pushed through the pump shaft onto the impeller. Gasket is placed onto the second stage casing. Now the stage casing with rubber bush is pushed through the shaft onto the second stage casing and tightened with nuts. Stage key is fixed to the pump shaft. The impeller is pushed through the shaft onto the third stage casing. Stage sleeve is pushed through the pump shaft onto the impeller. Gasket is placed onto the third stage casing and kept aside. Now the LTB bush is pressed with the help of hydraulic press onto the stage casing. Wear ring is pressed onto the stage casing. Studs are fitted onto the stage casing and tightened. Now, the stage casing with LTB bush is placed onto the third stage casing and tightened with nuts. Stage key is fixed to the pump shaft. The impeller is pushed through the shaft onto the fourth stage casing. Stage sleeve is pushed through the pump shaft onto the impeller. Gasket is placed onto the fourth stage casing. Now the stage casing with rubber bush is pushed through the shaft onto the fourth stage casing and tightened with nuts. Stage key is fixed to the pump shaft. The impeller is pushed through the shaft onto the fifth stage casing. Stage sleeve is pushed through the pump shaft onto the impeller. 
gasket is placed onto the fifth stage casing. The stage casing with rubber bush is pushed through the shaft onto the fifth stage casing and tightened with nuts. Stage key is fixed to the pump shaft. The impeller is pushed through the shaft onto the sixth stage casing. Stage sleeve is pushed through the pump shaft onto the impeller. Now, the impeller lock nut is fitted onto the pump shaft and tightened with the help of spanner. Now the second lock nut is fitted to the shaft with the help of spanner. Gasket is placed onto the sixth stage casing. Now the LTV bush is pressed with the help of hydraulic press onto the stage casing. NRV guide ring is pressed onto the stage casing. Studs are fitted onto the stage casing and tightened. Now the stage casing with LTB bush is placed onto the sixth stage casing and tightened with nuts. A dummy is fitted onto the last stage casing. Gasket is placed onto the final stage casing and kept aside. Now a spring is inserted into the NRV. Disc is placed onto the spring. NRV sheet is placed onto the NRV and tightened with the help of nylon hammer. Studs are fitted onto the NRV. A dummy is fitted to the NRV. Now the NRV is fitted onto the last casing and tightened with nuts. Key is fitted onto the pump shaft at suction housing end. Coupling is fitted onto the pump shaft on the suction housing end. Motor and pump is coupled with a key and grub screw at coupling area and tightened by the nut. Cable guard is fitted onto the suction housing and NRV body covering the cables with the help of screws. Finally, strainer is fitted onto the suction housing and tightened with screws. CRI Pumps, Pumping Trust Worldwide.